Here it is right here on my phone. It is spinning. When you sign up for Canva, you not only get access to all of their amazing features, but also all of their powerful AI tools, but it doesn't stop there. Canva has so many helpful, creative, and productive apps, many of them AI-based. Check the links in the description. And that's exactly what these types of videos are for, to help you find some of the best and most creative apps to use and leverage in Canva. For example, this video is where I show you how you can actually turn Canva into a prompt engineering machine as well as this one, this one, and this one. And if you don't have Canva Pro, I highly recommend you do. Please check the links in the description. So you could access it free for 30 days and try it for yourself. Okay, so here we are over here in Canva's app store. And then the first app I actually do want to show you is going to be the one right up here at the top that's actually featured. Design with Text Maker. Create custom 3D text effects to make your designs unique. Make your text stand out with Text Maker. It provides various text effects for your designs. You can look at some of the amazing looking examples right here. This is gonna be so helpful. Okay, so I have a brand new template started. As soon as I select the app over here on the left-hand side, it already defaults and then gives me all the options I could try. We have the typography and then we have the color. This is where we can select what sort of colors we want. Fill, outline, and then 3D depth color, okay? I'll go ahead and then select 3D depth color. That's gonna produce a really good and unique gradient style. So to keep things simple, let's just go with what we have as far as as the default, but you could change this up any way you like with these slider toggle bars. It does a phenomenal job. Or I can click on each individual color, adjust the slider, or also paste in a specific code, okay? So with that said, let's go back to the type and let's type in the text we wanna use. There you go. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. So with that said, let's go ahead and then add some more details. So for our font, let's change our font up, okay? We have a ton of options to choose from. We could just scroll forever, but to make things simple and to move fast, because we have a few apps to try, let's go ahead and then just select one. There we go, pretty cool. And then I could select my text alignment, adjust my height and my letter spacing. Look at that, in real time, it's actually moving everything. I can get it just right, exactly how I want it. Beautiful. Now also, again, I can come in here and select all. Look at this, I can scroll down and down, and now I can add some certain style of effects to all of my images. This is really gonna allow your text to pop and stand out. If I like this one, now just go add to design by selecting that button in the bottom left, and look at this. It is crisp and clear, amazing job. Okay, now moving on. Now we're back here in the App Store. So this next one is gonna be Envato, Elements by Envato. If you're not familiar with it, here it is right here. This really is an amazing tool that you could use for tons of content, royalty free. So for this one, over here in the App Store, just type in Envato, okay? and it will automatically populate, search for it, and now here it is right here. Photos and AI generated icons. So for this one specifically, if you don't have an Envato account, that's okay. This app is gonna excel at creating amazing AI generated icons. If you do have an Envato account, you can actually connect it like I did, and now you can access everything in Envato directly from within Canva itself. Now on the left-hand side, it's gonna populate with all the options from Envato. There we go right there. Now. We have our icons right here. I could scroll through any of these icons and I could pick any one that I want. Now, here's where things get very fun. Let's go ahead and select generate your own icon. This is all done with the power of AI. And it's very simple. Up here at the top in this prompt bar, just type in exactly what you're looking for. So let's do that, a phone icon, okay? Once our icon is typed in, now we have to select what sort of a style we want. And that is where the magic happens on the left-hand side. I could scroll through each of these styles and find one that I might like. So if I do find one I like, let's go ahead and now select it. Let's go with this neon one. Now simply select generate. Okay, and look at that, there we have it. On the left-hand side, I have all these pretty cool options. If I like one, I can click it. I can add it to my design just like that. In a few seconds, there's that one. If I don't like it, I can continue to scroll, okay? As I continue to scroll, more and more will populate. So it doesn't just end with what you see at the very top. You can also notice that you get different options. So if I select this one here, I have actually 16 options to choose from directly and right below it. If I go back again, I could select that generate more button and it will add more. I'll cancel that one. And so if you don't like any of these, again, remember, 
I could select a different style, select the generate. Let's change up phone icon to email icon. Now select generate, but now with a completely different style. Give it about 15 to 25 seconds and now you'll have a completely new set of icons. And then there you have it on the left-hand side, even more icons that definitely fit this style. If I like it, select it, and then select the one that you like, add to design, just like that, multiple icons. Okay, moving on, this next one is called Voxel Art. Create stunning 3D art from your photos. You can have any photo instantly transformed into 3D art. And what I love is that anytime you select an app, it automatically populates on the left-hand side. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is upload a photo. Okay, so I'll go through a few of these and I'll just upload something. It takes a few seconds and then instantly it goes from photorealistic to 3D art. Look at that, look how amazing this looks. That's fantastic, in, in fact, this is way better than I thought. And now for context, look at what I originally uploaded right here. Phenomenal job. Here's the original right here. That way you could see everything looks the same. And now look at that completely amazing 3D art. Okay, moving on to the next one. Now this next one, it's called type lettering, customizable text effects for captivating designs. Okay, let's go ahead and use this one in a new design. We already have a few templates to choose from. So for an example, let's just say I like this one right here. Okay, this is going to be my gradient script down here in the bottom left hand corner. Corner. I'll select this and right here I can change up my colors. So let's go ahead and do that make things look a little bit more unique to fit our color scheme and it's simply done by just clicking and dragging and with the power of a few clicks you can get a fully customizable color scheme just like that. There is my text but now let's just change things up a little bit and I'll type in something completely different. There we go metrics mule and then again I can change my font style. There we go that's a good font. And now it adjust my font, but then we also need to adjust our line height and you could do it by sliding this toggle right here. And just like that, we have another cool customizable font tool. And moving on, this next one is called transform image. Easily change the perspective of your image. That's gonna be extremely helpful. So you can make your image go from this front facing to more of like a side angle, very simply. So first thing we have to do is upload an image. And so for that, I'll come in here and I'll just select any image of my choice. And now right here, I can select reset perspective. So I could also come in here and then zoom to adjust it to make it zoomed in or zoomed out. Now watch how cool this is. I can come over here and I can zoom in just like this, change things up a little bit. But now in order to transform this, look how amazing this is. On the left hand side, just with your mouse, just click and drag it and rotate it completely like that. And do you see how it's moving? I could select reset perspective and then it's gonna reset like that again. I could zoom in and out and now watch it. With my mouse, I'm clicking and dragging. This would really look good in like a YouTube thumbnail giving it that like 3D effect. Now select add design. It's gonna be added. There it is, amazing job. And again, it's not perfect right now, but this is gonna be so incredibly helpful. It's like the power of Photoshop, again, directly from within Canva. Okay, moving on. Now this one's very fun. This is called Spin Wheel Maker. Take it for a spin. Design image-based spin wheels and play for random outcomes. So this is gonna be perfect for like sales games or like even for a trade show. Here we go over here. And now on the left-hand side, this is where you can customize everything. Create a spin wheel. So we first can add our content as far as the segments are concerned, okay? So let's just say I'm gonna put in one, two, three, four. You can put in anything you want, but that's basically gonna be what sort of a prize you get if it lands on this setting. Then I can go to customize right here. Again, I could change up my colors to fit my color scheme a little bit better. Click it and then just select the colors that you want. Okay, that's fine for now. Again, I won't spend too much time on the customization. And now let's go back to content right here. Let's just make believe each one, two, three, four are going to be a different prize. After you customize it, add everything the way that you want it. Okay, your content and customization. Now just select add to design. And then just like that, within a matter of seconds, these two things populate. We're gonna have our QR code and our actual design. Now it says, notice this, up in the top left, scan the QR code to play. So I'll take my phone right here, and in real time, we'll scan this code with our phone camera. Okay, there it is, do you see it? Here it is, right here on my phone. I'm now gonna select play. It is spinning, so I don't know if you can see this, but it is actually spinning. It spun, and it landed on result number one. And just like that, I get a cool spin wheel game I could play on my phone or my iPad or anywhere. So if you're doing like trade show events or parties or anything like that, you can create this spin wheel in Canva, scan the QR code so you have access to it, and then in your pocket, take it anywhere you go and play these cool spin wheel games. Okay, so for this next one, another good one for fonts. It's called Type 
craft, okay? Elevate your designs with custom text options. And then just like that, look, down here at the bottom, this is where we can start our process. Let's type in some text, and as you type it in in real time, you could see it generating down here in the edit shape. Now in edit shape, check this out. Now I can select any of these dots and completely distort my text any way that I want, just like that. This is pretty fascinating. In fact, I'm pretty impressed that you could do this all within Canva. This is some real Photoshop style editing. Now again, we could take things even further further. We have a lot more options as far as mirror points. Again, I can change up the colors. Okay. Just like that with some toggles, I can go ahead and make this a lot more custom than I want. And then we have other styles that we could select too. And then of course we can select our font and then completely change our font up as well. So there you have it. More Canva apps that you may not be aware about, but you definitely should give them a shot. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.